Hey, what's up everybody, Hunter Orell here, and I wanted to quickly talk about why delayed reveal NFT drops suck, and why I stay away from them, or I'm trying to stay away from them, and why if I was building an NFT project right now, I would not use a delayed mechanic. Um, and we'll kind of get into that, and really the takeaway here is, you know, how do you spot the red flags that a delayed reveal might have? Why would you want to stay away from them? I mean, a lot of the red flags that might pop up from a team that is using delayed reveal, uh, because one thing that we've noticed over the last few months and the last year of trading NFTs is that you really can manipulate when it's delayed, uh, you know, what the luck of the draw is. Because if you know what wallets, uh, what, you know, NFTs your friends have, uh, the way a delayed reveal works allows you to go and basically say, hey, I can guarantee you that one of one. Or, uh, hey, randomly just, you know, the, the original 100 bins that the team gets just happens to have uh, two of the five rarest NFTs in the whole collection. And now we can dump those onto the holders. Um, so we'll, we'll walk through this. Uh, and really, like I said, if you're a builder or a trader, these are kind of topics or things that um, you probably want to know. Um, and as a trader, obviously, there's the whole when is the best time to sell. Honestly, if there's one thing we've seen, we'll look at some charts here, it's before reveal. Um, because I would say in most cases, and this isn't everything, we definitely have reveal projects that have have worked and they've, they've gotten around it. Um, but I, they didn't have all the red flags that I look for. Um, so let's, we can get into this. Uh, a couple of projects, we'll just pull these up um, on the screen here that I pay attention to are, um, you know, the chubbies. What happened of chubbies? Obviously, look, the floor is super low. Um, and if we go back to the lifetime of this project, uh, it's a little hard to see, but, um, you know, pre-reveal, I think these things were like almost up to, to one at one point, right? And there's tons of volume, and then reveal came out, and people were just underwhelmed. Um, and this kind of just came around the whole idea of like what, People didn't know what they were getting. This is super early. Like this is like beginning of 2021. Mechaverse is obviously the most well-known of these projects where before reveal uh, prices were as high as eight ETH. Um, and you know, it's really easy to see that, you know, we're the couple days before we had reveal here, um, you were, were really, really high. They came out and people were like, you know, what, what did I just mint? Uh, how do I unmint this? How do I get rid of this as fast as possible? Um, and prices collapse, and now what we see is under one ETH. Um, so some tax loss harvesting happening there. The latest one uh, was definitely Asuna. Um, you know, same kind of thing. Prices are as high as, as three. Um, reveal came out a day ago, two days ago, and, you know, or a day ago, really. Like, you can see it. And people were just like, this sucks. Like, um, not what we expected. Same thing with Hate Prime. Um, you know, guess looking at this chart, where uh, where the reveal happened, right? Like, you know, all this hype build up, all this hype build up, and then just dump. Um, and so this is this is the issue we have, where a lot of these projects use the idea of hype, and here's what's happening. This is why we're going to be so big, and the crazy craziness around all these things. And you'll notice that there's more of a like focus on animation he's like 30 second clips that build up and less talk about what the real art's going to look like or they're cherry picking the 10 best of the 10,000 that are going to look the best um and really what concerns me with post reveal is that one you don't know if what you're getting was truly randomly generated um and, and this is different from a mint pass the reason a mint pass and a delayed reveal can be different is because a mint pass, if it allows you the second you get that mint pass to mint the NFT that that mint pass is used for, it's not a delayed reveal. A mint pass simply puts the delaying in the hands of the customer. Um, so with Meta Heroes, the second you got that uh, mint pass, you could mint. Um, and it's very different with those, uh, and we'll get to uh, into this in a second, those were generated at mint. It wasn't a pre-selected array of mints where they knew number 5,000 would be, uh, you know, look like this. They knew number 5,001 would look like this. They're generated at mint. And this has to do with the way that this is done through IPFS or whatever uh, minting structure you're using. A lot of these delayed reveal projects that I don't like um, use a method where they'll take something uh, like this and they'll just have an NFT that says, you know, coming soon, right? 
And the way this works is on IPFS, which is just essentially file storage. Um, the way this works is that they'll just have like, you know, image that's the placeholder and that data goes in and then they'll have the metadata, which, you know, in most cases, um, is nothing it's blank or, you know, just properties saying this is a placeholder sitting here. Um, and so on this, you know, IPFS server, this is sitting here. And then when delayed reveal comes, you know, they have a batch for every single token. This is where the real red flag is, is if that team has a set portion of those NFTs that are spoken for the team or, you know, certain ones are in certain wallet, like, cause we don't know there could be a team. The team could have made a hundred different wallets all gone on the whitelist, gotten their mints. And they're like, all right, I have wallet that ends in, you know, zero, four, two, one. And I'm going to magically just make sure that 0421 gets the rarest one of them all. There's no way for us to know that. Um, and that's why if it is this, you know, delayed mint where it isn't generative at mint where it's randomized and doing everything, if it's just purely a, hey, we're going to upload the metadata and the images and then reveal, um, that is a huge, huge red flag. So essentially what they'll do is they'll just say, hey, um, you know, screw this, <laughs> this is the placeholder, this will disappear, right? Um, <laughs> this is, excuse my uh, sloppiness here. Um, and then they will go and like, let's say this is the team's, um, the t like one of the team members, wa team members wallets, uh, the team member will come in and say, all right, this is the rare one of one, and this is the accompanying file to that, and here are the properties um and you know they'll they'll link the image and then all of a sudden uh you know the, the the rare nft shows up and now they have it that's that's the reveal and for all 10,000 they essentially upload or change this metadata um and then it it changes for everybody's wallets um and so this is why delayed reveal is tricky and why i get kind of like you know hey if the art's not done don't put it out if you're doing this to just create more secondary sales, um, there's better, like there's, that's just not how you should be doing it. You shouldn't be, um, you know, delaying something just because you're going to make more money. Um, it's also risky if you don't know what all the art looks like. I think in a lot of these cases, there's teasers and all these things like I've mentioned before, but if you don't know what the whole, you know, gauntlet of everything's going to look like, it is very risky. Um, so yeah, like this is this is really the reason I don't touch them is because you the team or whoever is uploading this can go through and mess up all the data, um, and this is why you should look for something that is generative at mint if it is delayed in any way. Um, and, and when I say that again, I'm talking about stuff like Meta Heroes, where um, even though that's technically a delayed reveal, those aren't set. When you go to mint, it's actually generating that asset at the moment of mint. Um, even though it is stored in IPFS, it's, you know, again, generate that mint. Um, a little tricky to explain. Hopefully this is easy enough for everybody to understand. If you don't, if you have questions or need me to clarify more, leave a comment below. But hopefully this really drives home the fact that you should not touch a delayed mint and why there are risks associated with using or buying into a delayed mint. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, and thank you so much for watching.